Welcome back to another thrilling episode of My Jack Barbecue. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, an ordinary center cut pork loin and jazz it up a little bit. What I've done is bought some uh, bacon ends and uh, wrapped them around the pork loin, but underneath the pork loin is Dave's famous barbecue rub. And uh, over top of that we sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar and then put some fresh cracked black pepper. Soon enough, I'm going to be going outside and getting the grill going. We'll let this come up to room temperature. And uh, when we bring it out to the grill, we'll uh, bring you all back. So stick around. Have a great day. All right, we're outside now. And uh, just a little educational thing, just in case there's somebody new to barbecuing and grilling and whatnot. We're using what's called a chimney starter. We put paper in the bottom. And then in the top is the charcoal. You light the paper using a, a long stem uh, lighter. And uh, what I used to do is cover it underneath something, give it a little ventilation, uh, that way the ash doesn't go everywhere. So that's how we start our uh, charcoal. It should always be a gray color. Uh, if you're trying to start charcoal black, you're gonna get all that, that binders and stuff in there. Here we go, we're gonna pour it down in here. I'll put the two bricks there to try to keep some, uh, some warmth in there. Try to insulate it. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, uh, Grill grape on. Flip the lid, flip this up. Put the lid on. Open our vents. Get it good and hot. And uh, we'll come back and we're gonna clean off the grill. Bye. All right, welcome back. We're gonna. Clean off the grates now. It's good and hot in here. That stuff will peel right off of there. That stuff will peel right off of there. There we go. Thought it was gonna make a fool of me. And now we're ready to oil the grates. I just use regular vegetable oil. That'll be just fine. I want a napkin or a towel or something like that. You know, get yourself a nice non-stick coating on there. That is lovely. And now I am going to take my water pan because I want to add some humidity to this. Put that underneath. Whip up grates, love them. I learned this from uh, JB. He talked about putting sand in here. You know what? I understand. That's try to keep the heat in. The water doesn't hold the heat as much. So I'm not going to put as much water in. Usually I have that pan half filled up. I'm just putting a little bit in. And that's to give it some uh, humidity inside this grill. Next is our pork loin. On goes the pork loin. Oh. Lumberjack Jr., can you give me a hand? Okay. Take those tongs and flip that grate back for your pop. The grate back? Yeah, See, flip that up. Okay. Oh, there you go, let it flop. Damn. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. And there we go. This Lumberjack barbecue. I got a little piece that's wrapped in bacon. Wrapped bacon here. That I'm just gonna throw on here, get it good and smoked up. And that'll be for some snacking later. And that's all we got for you. We'll bring you back when we're uh, maybe basting this or something like that. Bye. Welcome back. Um, we uh, Before we came back here, I uh, flipped it around once just to get even cooking. It's looking really good. The bacon's starting to brown up and whatnot. Looks great. Uh, all the snacks, I took them off just a little bit earlier. We're going to flip this around one more time. We're starting hour number three now. I also used some hickory wood, and you can see it down there still. And... Uh, that's pretty much brings you up this snuff. So all we're gonna do is flip it around, close it back up, and keep on going. By the way, that bacon tastes delicious. And yeah, I had a little little piece that I wrapped up, a little piece of pork I wrapped up with the bacon, and that was done already, that little tiny piece, and boy, that tasted good. So that's just about it. Maybe I'll, sometimes what you gotta do is kind of stir these up a little bit nice and hot in there and uh, we'll go for another hour and then we'll come back out and see what's going on stick around welcome back 
Uh, I've been helping out with my niece with uh, one of her uh, uh, videos that she's doing with me. And uh, I kind of neglected my pork over here. But it is done. It is the temperature. It's ready to go. I'm about ready to pull it off. And that's looking really good to me. So what I'm going to do is get myself a pan, put it on the pan, wrap it with foil, bring it in the house, let it rest for half an hour, 45 minutes. And then uh, I'm going to slice into this and tell you what I think of it. And I think the rest of the family's going to tell you what they think of it too. All right. Thanks a lot. Stick around. Welcome back to Lumberjack Barbecue. And the bacon wrap pork is finished. Final verdict in the house is it's been good. But I'm going to check it out myself. Seems to be pulling apart pretty decent. Does look a little dry to me. Oh, that's pretty good. Does it taste like bacon? It sure does. I'm gonna try a piece with some bacon now. Yeah, not bad. Everybody seems to have been eating it. Uh, I like it. I should try it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh -huh.